651, time for the morning sprint. The man convicted of killing six people when he drove through the Waukesha Christmas Parade will spend the rest of his life in jail without the possibility of parole. The actions of Daryl Brooks demand punishment. The community is not safe from your violent and criminal conduct unless you are in custody. Brooks talked for two hours straight, apologizing for his actions, but not taking responsibility for them. At one point, he tried to turn around and address victims and survivors, but Judge Jennifer Dara would not allow it. The man who pleaded guilty to drunkenly causing the crash that killed three local high school students last October will spend the next 18 years in prison. As part of a plea deal, the state dropped five other charges against 31-year-old Eric Maring of Verona. After serving his sentence in prison, Marion will spend the following 12 years on extended supervision. Breaking overnight, North Korea has launched a ballistic missile towards its eastern waters hours after the North threatened to launch fiercer responses. It all came after a summit between U.S., South Korea, and Japan, leaving tensions more unpredictable. Today is World Pancreatic Cancer Day, and a leading researcher right in our own backyard is sharing its advances to prevent the disease. The numbers are staggering. Of the 62,000 Americans who are diagnosed with this cancer this year, nearly 50,000 will die from it. It's the deadliest of all major cancers. The Carbone Cancer Center is hosting a virtual presentation to share its own groundbreaking research. You can sign up for the event over on UW Health. Org. And a quick reminder for anybody downtown over the next few nights, there are currently overnight lane closures in effect at the so-called hairball intersection that connects downtown with the near east side. Tomorrow night and tonight, closures will impact South Blair Street and East Wilson Street. Crews there are working to complete pavement markings on the newly redesigned intersection. The Wisconsin DHS will increase Medicaid cost coverage for nursing homes from 77% to 91% for the next fiscal year. New research shows demand for long-term care services will rise faster than the workforce will grow in the coming years. Officials say a significant amount of the increase will go toward wage and benefits. Wisconsin's population over the age of 65 is projected to grow by 72% by the year 2040. A bill to protect same-sex marriage could get a final vote in the Senate as early as this week. 12 Republicans crossed the aisle to take a primary vote with Democrats in the House on the bill that would ensure same-sex marriage rights are enshrined in federal law. Senators are moving quickly on the bill to get it to the House before Republicans take over control early next year, meaning it likely wouldn't be taken up. One week after the midterms, candidates for the next local race in Beloit can already throw their hats into the ring. The city has opened three council seats up for grabs in the April election, and the nomination process is right now. A minimum of 100 valid signatures is required. Nomination papers are available on the city's website. The spring election is scheduled for April 4th. Today is the last day to file a simple tax form if you're one of the 9 million Americans with unclaimed stimulus or child tax credit payments. The IRS started sending letters last month to alert those who are eligible. The IRS filing website will stay open until midnight. Police in Moscow, Idaho still do not have a suspect in the killings of four college students. And this morning they are saying that they cannot assure the public's safety. The police chief said when officers arrived at the house Sunday, they found the students dead, but also two roommates alive. Of the, uh, alive. Fry, the chief, did not elaborate on their possible involvement, but did question why the 911 call came hours after the students' deaths. Check this out. Just in time for the holidays, Lego unveiling its tallest build ever. It's a new Lego Eiffel Tower set. It contains 10,000 pieces, and once it's complete, it's an authentic replica of the iconic landmark in Paris, and it stands five feet tall. The price tag, cool, 630 bucks. It goes on sale starting Black Friday. We are looking at cloud cover and flurries today. Temperatures top out in the low 30s and upper 20s. That's early. They'll drop as we go throughout the rest of today. They'll drop all the way down into the low 20s and upper teens. For your overnight lows, the reality is these are also likely right around your high temperatures for tomorrow. More flurries are going to be likely moving into your Friday, but we do not get all that warm. Several of us will stay in the teens for your afternoon highs. 21, our forecast high on Friday, down to 8 Saturday night. A little bit more sunshine and getting warmer next week with temperatures in the 40s. Chris Reese, thank you very much. Stay with us, folks. Another news and weather update coming up in about half an hour here on News 3 Now.